Hello everyone, welcome to another Design Sim tutorial. Here's a title screen of design for my Starving Artist series. If you wondered how I created the tablecloth background, today's the day I show you. Today's a great day, let's create. Okay, we're going to open an Illustrator file that is the size of the movie. Mine is 1280 by 720, yours will be whatever the dimensions of your movie is. Now I'm going to draw a red square. Select the rectangle tool, click on the canvas, and create a red square that is 80 by 80 pixels. Click OK. Now I'm going to add a white square. So select the square, and then by holding down the optional Alt key, drag it to the right. If you have Smart Guides enabled, the second square should snap to the right of the first. Now I'm going to change the color of the square to white. This transparency grid is distracted to me, so I'm going to get rid of it by hiding it. Now I'm going to save my red color that I've selected, create it, put it in the color palette, swatches. Uh, there's too many colors, so let me reduce it down to just color swatches, not the gradients and patterns. Okay, there's my red. Get rid of that. And now I want to create a line that's the same color as my red. That's the red square that I have here. And the white square is still there. So let me select my line segment tool. Select the line segment tool. And then make that width four pixels. Four points, I should say. Well, if my cursor will cooperate, four point line segment tool. Thank you. Now I want to show the white square, so let me show the grid. And now my white square is easier to see, so now I can see where I'm going to be drawing my line at. And I'm going to draw a red four pixel diagonal line, not from corner to corner, but from one corner to just to the side of the opposite corner. And I'm going to make a copy of this line and save this for later. Okay, so I'm going to select this line, go up to click effect, Distort and transform, transform, and then in the transform effect window under move, I'm going to enter minus 10 pixels in the vertical field. And in the copies field, I'm going to enter 9 and click OK after I previewed it. And now let's use that line that I had earlier, paste it. Same thing, trans distort and transform, transform. Now I'm going to go to the vertical and put 10 pixels this time and I'm going to make six copies preview I'm still a little short on my square so I'm going to change the amount of copies make it eight uh, that might be good uh, I'm going to do one more make it nine preview and I think I definitely got it now so click OK now I want to select both go up here send to back now I want to lock that, select my white square. I'm going to make that a line. So change from fill to stroke to line. Now I want to unlock all. Now I'm going to select both. Now let's make a mask. Go down to clip and mask, make. And I'm going to make a copy of this. Paste it because we're going to get back to that later. Now I've what I've just shown you was amazing or something new. You should be describing this to me already. Now let's select these two. Go down to distort and transform, transform. And I'm going to go to the horizontal box and type in 160 because 80 plus 80 is 160 of both squares together. And I'm going to type in the number of copies I want to make of both of those squares, which is seven. Preview looks great, fills up the screen, and that's very good. Now, let's get to this lonely square I had down here. Now it's going to come in handy. So, I'm going to make this uh, the first square in the second row, and because everything will snap into place, I don't have to worry about placement. So, it's there perfectly. Okay, so we have this first square in our second row selected. And let's uh, go up to Effects, 
distort and transform, transform. And in the transform effect window, go down to the move section. Didn't mention that before, not the scale. And we're going to enter 160 and make seven copies as we did before. Preview, and it looks great. And I'm going to click OK. I don't have to worry about white squares this time because white is going to be the background. So I only need this one square, but they still move the same distance. Now select the first three squares. And I'm going to go up, effects, distort, transform, transform. And now we want to move down um, with the so we can create two rows of each. And that still is going to be 160 because 80 plus 80 is 160. And because we want to move downward, we are going to select um, vertical and put minus 160. And the number of copies will be four. And preview it, looks great. And that's it. So uh, I want to get rid of all the lines so you can really see what this looks like. So let's go up and hide the guides and hide the grid. And great, so this is the way the final product looks in Illustrator. I did some stuff to it in Photoshop afterwards. But this is the end of the Illustrator tutorial by Design Sim. And remember, just create.